Hi, I'm Tim Gibson. I'm going to talk to you about how to tape and finish texture drywall. Now, taping and finishing texture drywall is much like taping and finishing uh, new drywall, with one exception. If we've already got textured drywall, then what we want to do, if we've replaced a piece or we've repaired an area of it, then we want to come back and, and using our uh, broad knife or using a scraper, where the joint is, we want to make sure that we scrape off any of the texture that is around the joint and at least uh, four or five inches to each side of the joint. Now, if it doesn't scrape off easily, then what you can do is just take a sponge with some water and wet that area on uh, both sides. If it's painted or something like that, you may need to sand it uh, to break through the paint finish to get down to the texture compound. But again, if you wet that down, let that water sit in for a little bit, then you should be able to take a putty knife and scrape off so that you're as smooth as possible on each side. Now, once we've done that, then we are ready. Now, the first thing we're going to do, there's two types of tape that we can use. We can use a fiberglass tape like this, and this actually sticks in place just on the bare drywall or on the bare joint. And it's got a little bit of adhesive on the back of it, so that will help hold it in place like that. Now, if you use a paper tape, which is a traditional method of doing it, then we need to take some drywall joint compound and we need to put a thin coat down first. Once that thins coat in place then we can uh, press the tape in place and then we'll take a broader knife and come in and we will bed that tape down by scraping off the excess joint compound. We'll let this dry 24 hours and then we'll come back and we'll do another thin layer that's a little bit wider. Let that dry 24 hours, come back and do another layer that's a little bit wider. And then once that's done, the last coat we're going to put on thick uh, with uh, a watered down version of it. And then let that dry a little bit. And then while it's still somewhat wet, we're going to take a knife and we're just going to knock down that finish so it matches the rest of the texture or knockdown. Now if it's a popcorn or something like that, then you can buy small cans of spray on to fix those areas. So I'm Tim Gibson and that's how to fix joints on a textured wall.